Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at parts of Apple.com you may not know about. So if you own Apple products, you've probably been to Apple.com before, maybe to check out the discussion forums, or shop for software, or browse around in the Apple Store. But there's all sorts of different corners of the Apple.com website that you may not know about. Now the first one I want to tell you about is support.apple.com slash manuals. Here you'll find electronic PDF versions of manuals that come with Apple products. And you can download them, even if you don't own the hardware. So for instance, you can download the iPad user guide, browse through it, maybe give you a better idea of what the iPad can do and whether or not it's for you. Now if you have a Mac, you may want to go ahead and download the PDF user manual for your Mac and one of the useful things you can find in it is information about what memory each Mac takes and how to install it. So if you've got an old Mac and you want to find the user manual but you can't find your copy, you can download a new one here. Now if there's something you don't like about your Apple product or you have a suggestion to Apple about a feature to include in a future version, you can suggest it to them. You can go to apple.com slash feedback. Here you can select the product that you want to talk about say the iPad, it will ask you some more questions and you can submit whatever comments you want. Now, Apple does check this stuff out, so a lot of people submitting comments asking for a certain feature or maybe about a bug that they don't even know about, this is the way to get the information to them and maybe get it fixed or a new feature added. Now if you're looking for support, you may already know that you can go to any Genius Bar in any Apple store and get free support there. Now you can go to apple.com slash retail slash genius bar and make an appointment here. So this is useful because once you have an appointment you know you have a scheduled time and you can just show up and go right to the front of the line and get some help. If you don't have an appointment sometimes they ask you to make one or you have to wait in line. Now, if you've ever purchased something from Apple or registered for something on Apple's site then you have an Apple ID. Now this is different than an iTunes account or a mobile me account. You can have one, it's completely free, and you maybe get some newsletters from Apple, things like that. You can go to myinfo.apple.com and check out your Apple ID. You can update your email address if that has changed, you can change your password, and you can set preferences like how you prefer Apple to contact you and which newsletters you get from Apple. Now if you're looking to buy an Apple product, you know you can go to an Apple store and you probably know where there's one in your area. But you can buy Apple products from other places as well. At the Apple site at apple.com slash buy slash locator, you can type in a zip code and get a map of different stores, including the Apple stores, that sell Apple products. And you can narrow it down by product. So for instance, if I want to find out where I can buy Macs in my area, I can see it here and see that there's other places besides the Apple store that I can go to. Likewise, if I need to get repairs, maybe fix an old Mac that's no longer covered by AppleCare, I can go to apple.com slash buy slash locator slash service and type in a zip code and get a list of repair shops in my area and what type of devices they repair. You can see there's many more options than just the official Apple stores. So they were all very practical. But did you know Apple also has a repository of movie trailers in high definition and you can watch them in QuickTime. So you've got trailers.apple.com and the thing I like about this is not only do they have a lot of movie trailers, a lot more than some other websites do, but they're not filled with all of the ads and other junk that some of the movie sites make you see before you watch a trailer. You can just go right in and watch the trailer and it looks beautiful. So there's a look at some things at the Apple.com website that you may not have known about. I hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.